Hello students, welcome to the lecture on product pricing and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Explain the basic concepts of pricing methods, understand the pricing objectives, describe the concept of pricing strategies, understand pricing decision. Many managers are intimidated by the challenge of new product pricing. The new product pricing process NPPP provides managers a systematic structure to deal with this task while promoting a customer base orientation toward product design, product value, market segment selection and competition. Implementation of the process reduces the risk inherent in a new product introduction. The pricing process is a vehicle for achieving the company's business strategy and financial objectives. Furthermore, it must be grounded by the characteristic of the market for the company's existing and future products. The pricing process takes place within these boundaries of business strategy and market characteristic. Let us now discuss pricing methods. The term pricing method in the context of compiling price indices would probably be regarded by most price statisticians as a common concept. However, when one attempts to find a definition for this concept or indeed a definition for various types of pricing methods, the inadequacy of the current literature becomes apparent. This is particularly true in the case of producer price indices for service industries SPPI, where defining pricing methods is crucial in many respects. The use of a specific type of information on prices to represent the evolution of price in price index compilation. The specific type of information specifies the method. There are two types of competition-based pricing methods, going rate or market pricing. Charging the same as competitors or the market leader, destroyer or destructor pricing, charging a price below average to drive out competition. Let us now discuss pricing objective. Many pricing objectives are available for careful consideration. Someone select will guide anyone's choice of pricing strategy. We will need to have a firm understanding of product attributes and the market to decide which pricing objective to employ. Choice of an objective does not tie someone to it for all time. How to choose a pricing objective? Pricing objectives are selected with the business and financial goals in mind. Elements of business plan can guide choices of a pricing objective and strategies. Consider business mission statement and plans for the future. If one of overall business goal is to become a leader in terms of the market share that product has, then we will want to consider the quantity maximization pricing objective as opposed to the survival pricing objective. Partial cost recovery. A company that has sources of income other than from the sale of products may decide to implement this pricing objective, which has the benefit of providing customers with a quality product at a cost lower than expected. Profit margin maximization. It seeks to maximize the per unit profit margin of a product. This objective is typically applied when the total number of units sold is expected to be low. Profit maximization. It seeks to garner the greatest dollar amount in profits. This objective is not necessarily tied to the objective of profit margin maximization. Revenue maximization. It seeks to maximize revenue from the sale of products without regard to profit. Quality leadership. It is used to signal product quality to the consumer by placing prices on products that convey their quality. Quantity maximization. It seeks to maximize the number of items sold. Status quo. It seeks to keep product prices in line with the same or similar products offered by competitors to avoid starting a price war or to maintain a stable level of profit generated from a particular product. Survival. It is put into place in situation where a business needs to price at a level that will just allow it to stay in business and cover essential cost. Let us now discuss pricing strategies. A pricing strategy is a course of action framed to affect and guide price determination decision. Price setting. Price setting is a very critical area in marketing mix decision of a company. 
The meaning given to price sometimes creates pricing difficulties. It is the only element that generates revenues for the company and all others involved only cost. The aim of marketing is to facilitate satisfying exchanges between the marketer and consumer at a profit. The following equation is significantly important for the entire company. Profits is equal to prices into quantities sold minus total cost. Lost leader. It refers to products having low prices placed on them in an attempt to lure customers to the business and to make further purchases. The lost leader pricing strategy should be paired with either the quantity maximization or partial cost recovery pricing objectives. The low price placed on the product should result in greater quantities of the product being sold while still recovering a portion of the production cost. Multiple pricing. It seeks to get customers to purchase a product in greater quantities by offering a slight discount on the greater quantity. In the display of prices, a price for the purchase of just one item is displayed along with a price for a larger quantity. The multiple pricing strategies works well with the profit maximization and quantity maximization objectives. Optional product pricing. It is used to attempt to get customers to spend a little extra on the product by purchasing objects or extra features. Optional product Pricing is best used when the pricing objective is revenue maximization or quality leadership. By anticipating a customer to purchase one or more of the option offered to them, we will be increasing revenue since the customers may not have purchased the option if it were not offered or may have gone elsewhere to purchase it. Differential Pricing Price discrimination or differential pricing refers to the charging of different prices for different quantities of a product at different times to different customer groups or in different markets when these price differences are not justified by cost differences. Many companies sell the same product or service to different customer groups at different prices. Price discrimination enables some customers or segments to pay less. This brings in more overall contribution to company than if one price is charged to all. Key features of price discrimination laws. They apply to manufacturers, not service providers. Price discrimination is permissible if differences in prices can be justified by differences in cost. Price discrimination is illegal only if the intent is to destroy competition. To comply with U.S. antitrust laws, pricing must not be predatory. A company engages in predatory pricing when it deliberately prices below its cost in an effort to drive out competitors and restrict supply and then raises price rather than a large demand or meets competition. Dumping it occurs when a non-USA company sells a product in the United States at a price below the market value in the country of its creation and its action injures an industry in the United States. Collusive pricing. It occurs when companies in an industry conspire in their pricing and output decisions to achieve a price above the competitive price. Changing prices. No matter how carefully a product's price has been set, there would be occasion in a product's life cycle to change the existing price for a variety of reasons such as need for additional business, product improvement, sales slowdown, loss of market share, competitive pressures, economic conditions and change in government policies etc. These are different types of price discrimination given here. First degree price discrimination. It involves selling each unit of the product separately and charging the highest price possible for each unit sold. First degree price discrimination is seldom encountered in the real world because to practice it, the firm needs to have the precise knowledge of each consumer's demand curve and charge the highest possible price for each separate unit of the product sold. Second degree price discrimination. This refers to charging of uniform price per unit for a specific quantity or block of product sold to each customer, a lower price per unit for an additional batch or block of product and so on. By doing so, the firm will extract part but not all of the consumer surplus. Second degree price discrimination is more common than first degree price discrimination but 
It is also somewhat limited to the cases where products and services are easily metered, such as kilowatt hours of electricity, cubic feet of gas and water, number of copies duplicated. Third degree price discrimination. This refers to the charging of different prices for the same product in different markets until the marginal revenue of the last unit of product sold in each market equals the marginal cost of producing the product. Electric power companies generally practice third degree price discrimination. They charge higher rates to commercial than to residential users of electricity. Let us do one numerical example for third degree price discrimination. Suppose he can identify, monopolist can identify his two markets, i equals to 1, 2. These are two markets of monopolist. Q1 equals to 5 minus P1. This is the demand curve in market 1. And Q2 is equal to 5 minus 3P2 is the demand curve in the other market. Well, you can write this as P1 equals to 5 minus Q1. And you can write this as P2 equals to 5 by 3 minus Q2 by 3. TR1 would be P1Q1, which is 5Q1 minus Q1 square. TR2 would be P2Q2, which is 5 by 3 Q2 minus Q2 square by 3. Supposedly, marginal cost in both the markets is identical and this is equal to 1. MR1 would be the derivative of TR1 with respect to Q1. And this is given as 5 minus 2q1. MR2 would be dtr2 by dq2, which is given as 5 by 3 minus 2 by 3q2. In equilibrium, MR1 should be equal to MC and MR2 should be equal to MC. This would imply 5 minus 2Q1 equals to 1 and this would imply 5 by 3 minus 2 by 3Q2 should be equal to 1. This would imply 4 equals to 2q1 or q1 star equals to 2. And this would imply 5 minus 2q2 equals to 3 or q2 star equals to 1. You getting the point? So what you will do is that you will substitute this q1 star back into this equation. So, well, you know this that p1 is equal to 5 minus q1. So, p1 star would also be equal to 5 minus q1 star. And you have found out your q1 star, which is equal to 2. So, this is coming out to be equal to 3. And p2 star. So P2 star would be 5 by 3 minus Q2 star by 3. That would mean 5 by 3 minus 1 by 3, which is equal to 4 by 3. So what we have got is that we have got Q1 star, which is 2. Okay. So Q1 star is 2, Q2 star is 1, we have got P1 star as 3 and P2 star as 4 by 3. Clear? 
So this is the way you calculate third degree price discrimination. Promotional pricing companies can choose a variety of pricing technologies to motivate consumers to buy early. As the name suggests, these techniques are considered as an important part of sales promotions. To illustrate, just three techniques are briefly discussed. Loss leader pricing. Sometimes large retail outlets use loss leaders pricing on well-known brands to increase store traffic. Superficial discounting. It is superficial comparative pricing. It involves setting an artificially high price and offering the product at a highly reduced price. Special event pricing. This involves coordinating price cuts with advertising for seasonal or a special situation to attract consumer by offering special reduced prices. New product pricing. The base price of a new product is easily adjusted in the absence of price control by government. A pioneer can set the base price high to recover product development costs quickly. Psychological pricing. Psychological pricing approach is suitable when consumer purchases are based more on feelings or emotions factors rather than rational such as love, affection, prestige and self-image etc. Unethical pricing. Practices in marketing. There are few points related to unethical pricing and marketing. As example, pricing lack of clarity in pricing, dumping 2013 sales at a loss to increase market share and destroy competition in order to subsequently raise prices, price fixing cartels, encouraging people to claim prices when they phoning premium rate numbers, bait and switch selling attracting customers and then subjecting them to high pressure selling techniques to switch to a more expensive alternative. High pressure selling especially in relation to groups such as the elderly. Unethical practices relating to products. There are few points related to unethical pricing related to product as example. Selling goods abroad which are banned at home, omitting to provide information on side effects, unsafe products, built-in obsolescence. Price competition. There is tremendous price competition in free market economies all around the world. A company can use price to compete by changing its prices or by reacting to price changes by competitors. This influences decision concerning other marketing mix variables. Typically, price-based competition occurs when consumers cannot readily differentiate between competitive offerings. In this situation, companies use price as a tool to differentiate its products from competitors, products to beat or match prices set by competitors. To adopt this competitive approach, a company should be low-cost producer in case all competitors charge the same price that the company producing at the lowest cost would be most profitable. Companies adopting price-based competition tend to market standardized products and are generally adept at frequently adjusting prices or quite willing to do so. A company adopting price-based competition can exercise flexibility in making adjustments to changes in companies' cost or product demand. Over the time period, most companies manage to lower costs at varying levels and are able to adjust prices. Too frequent price reduction sometimes lead to price wars in weakened companies. In India, Coke and Pepsi occasionally indulge in price cutting, attempting to take advantage. The day one of them announces price reduction, the response of the other companies immediate and apparently neither firm gains advantage. Non-price competition Non-price competition focuses on other than price factors of a product such as distinctive product features, quality, service, packaging and promotion to make it meaningful differentiated from competing brands. The company attempts to add more value to its brand to push sales rather than changing its price. It is important that consumer must be able to perceive these distinctions and view them as important. When we go to buy another wise ordinary product toothbrush, we find significant differences in prices ranging between INR5 to INR38. Major companies differentiate their brands on the basic of bristle head flexibility and tiny shop observers to benefit teeth and gums. This approach is more appropriate when customer primarily do not buy a product only for price reasons such as those products customers consider a commodity. 
when the customer prefer a brand because of its features, quality or service, they are less likely to shift to competing brands and sales are less dependent on price. Despite this, a company cannot completely ignore prices of competitive products. Price is an important marketing mix element even when market environment and product nature favors a non-price competition. Pricing decisions are management decisions about what to charge for the products and services that companies deliver. To maximize operating income, companies produce and sell units as long as the revenue from an additional unit exceeds the cost of producing it. Factors affecting pricing decision A number of different internal and external factors affect pricing decision and this may pose some complexity. In general, there is uncertainty about how consumers, competitors, resellers, etc. would react to prices. Price considerations are important in market planning, analysis, marketing mix variables, demand forecasting, competitive structure, cost and government actions. Customers Customer influence prices through their effect on demand. Companies must always examine pricing decision through the eyes of their customer. Too high a price may cause customer to reject a company's product. Competitors Competitors influence prices through their action. Alternative or substitute products of a competitor may affect demand and force a business to lower its prices. Fluctuation in the exchange rates of different countries, currency also affect pricing decision. The market condition vary considerably and market structure affects not only the pricing decision within a company but also the kind of likely response from other players in the same industry. Much depends on the number of buyers and sellers operating in a market and the extent of entry and exist barriers. A non-regulated monopoly can set prices at any level it determines to be appropriate. However, in case of regulated monopoly, there is loss pricing flexibility and the company can set prices that generate a reasonable profit. In case of oligopoly, there are few sellers and market entry barriers are high such as auto industry, computer process, oil industry, mainframe computer and steel industry etc. If an industry member company raises its price, it hopes others will do the same. A similar response is likely to result when a company reduces its price in an attempt to increase its market share, other companies to follow suit and the initiator company gains no appreciable advantage. Monopolistic market structure means numerous sellers with differentiated offerings in terms of tangible and intangible attributes and brand image. Cost Costs influence prices because they affect supply. The lower the cost relative to the price, the greater the quantity of product the company is willing to supply. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. The introduction of a new product also often presents the opportunity to optimize the pricing of the total product line. A company that has sources of income other than from the sale of products may decide to implement this pricing objective which has the benefit of providing customers with a quality product at a cost lower than expected. A pricing strategy is a course of action frame to affect and guide price determination decision. Price discrimination or differential pricing refers to the charging of different prices for different quantities of a product at different times to different customer groups or in different markets when these price differentials are not justified by cost differentials. The pricing process is a vehicle for achieving the company's business strategy and financial objectives.